Hello everyone, welcome back to the session of conditional statements again. In this session, we are going to learn the another way of controlling a sequence of execution, which is a case control structure. So let's see that what is the syntax while working with the case statement. So here the case, uh, the user has to enter a choice. So as you can see case, depending upon that was the user enters a choice, it goes to the particular case. So if the user enters the choice as one, it moves to that case, choice one, and executes that series of statements. A case always ends with double semicolon. If the user enters the choice two, then it executes those statements which is under statement two. Again, the choice case two is ending with the double semicolon. So all the cases ends with the double semicolon. If the user enters a value which is not choice one, choice two, or choice three, then it moves to the default case which is represented by star so it moves to the star the default case and it executes default condition to be executed how do we end uh, end the case it is entered by esac okay so this is the syntax let's do some program which is based on this case statement okay so for this first we'll write up we'll create a file vi uh, let's write take a file name OG and enter okay now we are in command mode let's move to the insert mode escape insert now I'm in my insert mode and here let's type now echo and enter a value between 1 2 3 1 2 3 and close the quotes now here after taking this we are going to take the user from the input so read and let me give the value as choice okay and then enter now after that we'll write case and dollar choice what the user enters that value and in and then we are going to write all the cases so first case with the bracket and then here we are going to write echo and you enter one Entered one okay uh, it's not necessary to put the statement inside double quotes in equal it's your choice it works without that also the ending a uh, case with a double semicolon enter two and then here again equal and then again we are going to write you entered okay mistake uh, entered and two and then close it again we close it with the double semicolon go to the third case and here we write again echo and you entered three entered three okay close the quotes close the case now i want to go to the default i want to put one default case so i'll put star for that okay then here we'll write echo uh, okay this is a mistake again echo so append and echo and then we are going to write you are in default case you are in default case okay then close it again we close the case default case and then we are going to uh, close the case uh, so how to close fully esac okay now let's run the program okay so escape then colon wq save and quit and then running it as such and case prog1 and then enter enter value between 1 to 3 now one thing whenever we run the shell program we'll see that the cursor always points to the next line now 1 to 3 let's me put 2 and it says you enter 2. I want to run it again. I want to put a default one. So let me put as 9. So you are in default case. Okay. So this is how my case statement works. I hope this is clear. Now I'll show some more programs which is based on this uh, case statement. VI. Let me have. I have already written the program. We'll just see how to work on that. So VI switch one. Now here I have taken echo. Enter a choice read choice case dollar choice so we are asking the user to enter choice and depending upon that choice it executes that particular commands so if i enter 
the choice one it is going to execute date and going to give me the date if I the user enters choice two it is going to give me the long listing if I cho a user enters uh, three then it is going to give the list of users who have logged in and for present work entirety the user can give four for the default it is a wrong choice now let's just execute and see that how it works so I'm just pressing escape colon wq and I'm going to run it as such switch one okay enter a choice let me enter two and see what happens so it's, you see that it executes ls minus l so long listing of all the files and directories okay let's run it again as a switch one and enter choice one so what is the one one was for the date so this is showing me the date and then if I run it again and I give the third choice third one is for who the, the number of users who have logged in presently so this is how you can execute it so we go back to the program again so you okay we run it again once more okay now if we WD showing the present working directory so let me just move to the program again so this is what depending upon which choice you are entering it gives me it runs that particular command uh, let me show you uh, one more program uh, so which is based on the case itself okay. so I have already written that program we'll just see that how does it work now here this is another program which is based on that on the regular expressions which we have given if you enter any character read character you are going to read a character so if the character if you are entering a small uh, case then it goes to that particular case so in the case you can also put your regular expressions so if it uh, if it is a smaller case it executes the first case if it is capital then it goes to the second case if it is single character then a uh, special character goes to the uh, question mark if it is more than one character it goes to the star so let's just execute this and see uh, what is the output of this code now here if I run and then vi enter any character let me give t we enter a small case letter ok let's me run it once more such so vi and here I enter as capital U so you enter a capital letter I hope this concept is clear that how we can use uh, the case for different uh, different way where we can also put our commands we can use our regular expressions and different ways where we can use a way of controlling a sequence of execution so I hope this concept is clear now Okay, thank you so much for the session. We'll see some more programs in the next session.